there is a couple in Marin County kicking off their 20th year, making sure low-income senior citizens don't go hungry. They're still going, even though they're older than some of the people that they serve. Sharon Chin updates our Jefferson Award winners, who you first profiled 14 years ago. Absolutely is a great update. So one in four people who live in Marin County are age 65 and older, and Kurt Kincaid and Ruth Schwartz are doing their part to keep them healthy. They operate like a whale-oiled machine. Ruth Schwartz at the wheel as her husband Kurt Kincaid unloads boxes of groceries. And together they're making a difference for about a thousand people a year. The, the joy for me is knowing that I'm making life an awful lot easier for an awful lot of people. Kurt, who's 82, and Ruth, 79, are delivering food to low-income senior citizens, people living with disabilities and others at the Hamlin Hotel in San Francisco. The couple added the Tenderloin site to their distribution route last year in honor of a good friend who served the single room occupancy hotel for years but passed away. Ruth says the delivery reminds her why she and Kurt started serving others nearly two decades ago. There was this woman who lived by herself, had no family locally, and um, she was living on three potatoes a day. We wanted to make sure that people like her, you know, got enough food. It's brilliant. Isn't that brilliant? We first profiled Kurt and Ruth in 2010 in the early years of their nonprofit, Respecting Our Elders. Here. The program picks up surplus food from places like grocery stores and farmers markets and delivers it oh, to yes. cash-strapped people in Marin County senior Where's citizen you? apartment complexes, <laughs> churches, and community centers. In recent years, they've added weekly open food days where people can pick up donations themselves in Bolinas and San Rafael. The couple says in all, they've given away $100 million worth of groceries. We came up with a treatment for a very deadly disease that kills thousands of seniors every year. It's called financially induced situational depression. You know, this program gives instant relief to that condition. Kurt himself is getting a little relief, too. For years, he's volunteered picking up and dropping off donations seven days a week. Only recently did he start getting one day off. And I decided that, you know, when I was about 80, that it, maybe it was time to slow down a little bit. For the couple who's been married 31 years, their volunteer service is a labor of love in more ways than one. Functioning like that, as a partnership, not just because we're husband and wife, but as a partnership, making that kind of contribution is very, very gratifying. Almost making me cry. It's the most gratifying thing I've ever done in my life. And with no plans to retire, the partners in service and in life say they'll keep the deliveries rolling. And one of their goals was to help get older adults more active if possible. So many of their 100 volunteers are also food recipients. And because most of the program's $25,000 a year operating expenses have to do with transportation, they're looking for more donations to help cover the cost of gas and maintaining that delivery van. Yes, very important. They are really amazing people. And the food they're doing, I mean, this is high quality, fresh food. Yeah, it's still good from the grocery stores, the stuff that maybe they'll, you know, uh, give away or dump away, but yes. other people can still eat, still good. Making use of it all. Sharon, yes. thank you so much for that, and we'd like to thank the couple for their work as well. You can nominate your local hero for a Jefferson Award online, kpix.com slash hero.